Hello, it's Michael Crummy, author of runaway bestsellers in Poland, such as Dostatek and Sweetland. And I'm back with one more novel uh, that I wanted to tell you a little bit about. Um, it's actually uh, my first novel, which was published in Canada in 2001, uh, and is just about to be released in Poland. Uh, again with Wind from the Sea. River Thieves is actually a, uh, a historical novel set in Newfoundland around the turn of the 19th century and concerns primarily the relationship between uh, the European settlers who were coming to Newfoundland in increasing numbers in those years and the indigenous inhabitants of the island, the Beothic Indians. No one knows really how many Beothic Indians were living in Newfoundland at the time of first contact. The estimates, uh, according to the experts, say anywhere between 500 and 5,000 people. So it couldn't possibly have been less than 500 or more than 5,000. Most people think somewhere around 2,500. Uh, but there is evidence that uh, at one time or other the Beothic occupied the entire and used the entire coastline of Newfoundland, the, of the island. They hunted for seals and fish on the coastline in the summers and then moved inland, usually to Red Indian Lake in the center of the province, uh, where they uh, hunted caribou and spent the winters. And at the time uh, that I'm writing about in River Thieves, uh, their numbers had dwindled so much and they had retreated from the encroaching uh, settlements of the English so far that they occupied only this tiny portion of the island, the archipelago of islands around Exploits, the Bay of Exploits, and spent their winters, they moved up the Exploits River to Red Indian Lake in the interior. The last known Beothic Indian um, before they became like, completely extinct was a woman known as Shana Divit, who was also known as Nancy. She uh, threw herself on the mercy of the Peyton family on the northeast coast of Newfoundland and uh, died in St. John's uh, around 1829. Um, and almost everything we know about the Beothic, we know from Shana uh drawings and from what she was able to tell uh, the people that she was living with. But by and large, the Beothic remain a complete mystery to us. Who they were, how they lived, what they thought of what was happening to them. Uh, these are things that we can only guess at. And there, are, there have been attempts to write uh, novels uh, from the perspective of the Beothic, trying to guess at these things, which I had always thought was completely wrong-headed and beside the point. Um, as, far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, the f fact that they're extinct means that we can never know those things and that to try to pretend we do in some way is something else we can do to the Beothic. It's one more violation that uh, we can perpetrate on them. So what I decided to do in River Thieves instead was to write a novel almost entirely from the perspective of the Europeans who were making an attempt to go into the interior and out to the islands where they lived and try to establish some kind of friendly contact with the Beothic. Um, or uh, who, on the other hand, were uh, trying to <clears throat> deal with the presence of the Beothic as a problem, and in many cases dealing with them in a way that was incredibly brutal uh, and violent. 
And in telling that story, by creating what is more or less a little soap opera among the uh, European characters in the novel, I was trying to create a story that covered some of the same emotional terrain or territory that the historical story of what happened to the Beothic occupies and was hoping to use that story as a way of reflecting light into the shadows, into the margins, where the incredibly tragic, incredibly sad story of what happened to the Beothic took place historically. The Beothic have been extinct now for almost almost 200 years. Um, but uh, they are still uh, very much present as kind of a haunting uh, in Newfoundland. And their story is one that we will never uh, escape. And rightly so. And River Thieves was my attempt to, uh, on, a, on a personal level, uh, come to grips with, with that story.